Alrighty guys, Brian Jarbo here with Guardian Safe and Lock, back at it again with another Picking the Brain. Um, today we are doing the calibration of an HPC Blitz machine. Um, the HPC Blitz usually comes with a calibration kit and instructions, which you can also find these online if you ever need to get a copy for yourself. Um, so it comes with the code card to set in there, which actually has seven steps to go through. Um, I have all the tools laid out here, which we'll throw a little B-roll film through there. That way you can see everything. Um, so pretty much we're going to start from step one, go through every step, kind of show you exactly how everything's done. And then that way you guys can see how the calibration goes on this. Alrighty, so we're going to start out with step one, which is putting on the disc. So. We don't have to worry about putting that card in there for right now. We'll just go ahead and get the disc cutter set up on here. So just like any of your other regular discs, if you're putting them on here, you just want to put it in the flow order that it says, and then just tighten it down finger tight because you don't want to over tighten it just in case you have to change it out. It makes it easier to get the nut off. Okay, and now on to step two, which is uh, using the gauge key. Put the horseshoe tip in there and then we put the gauge key on and we want to just put it up to where that uh, the horseshoe end goes on to the tip part of here and then we tighten it down and then we're going to bring up that shoulder gauge and then this is where we're going into the calibration of the shoulder gauge. Since we got just a hair on the shoulder gauge, we're gonna go ahead and fix that, which is taking us into step three. So step three, usually how I fix this guy up, is I'll take off the handle part here. Because in order to get to these guys, the screws, you want to make sure that the handle knob is off. So that way you get easy access to all these screws on the inside here. And the one that we're going to be adjusting is this one right here. All right, so now we're going to go on to step three, which is loosening the screw, which to show you an easy way of getting to those screws on here, we're gonna just pop off the wheel here, push this guy in a little more. That way you can get full access to these screws. So the one we're gonna mess with here is on the shoulder gauge cause it's got just a tiny gap on that. So what we want to do is loosen this guy up. So that way we can actually make a couple of rotations here and get that gap. So we want to go in, which I guess I need to get something to grip this with. Aha, uh -huh, see, we need to go back. There we go. And that's where we want to get it because now we're nice and tight up against that shoulder. So we're going to tighten this back down since we got it right to where we want. sure it's nice and human tight on there. Cool. Alrighty, so that's the shoulder. So I'm just gonna leave this wheel off just for the sake of being able to get to those screws from here on out because it's a lot of back and forth on that. So step four, now we insert the card. So now we're at the point of where we gotta do the spacing. So we wanna line up the space mark on there all right, so step five, this is the fun part, is calibrating the spacing on the HPC machine here. So what we want to do is put the needle on the space mark, and then we're going to go and take out, unloosen up four of the set screws here on the very bottom. Um, so we got one, two, and then back here on the back side is three and four. 
So we'll go ahead and uh, get these loosened up, speed it up real quick, because, I mean, you don't have to absolutely see us unloosening these screws. All righty, now we're out of the fast forwarding part. So with this part, what we want to do, I don't know if you want to take a closer look up on this, but we got to make sure that the blade drops into the slot on our key gauge here, and that's going to tell us if we're right in the right spot for the space mark here. So we take this and we'll bring it up, and we're kind of having to push a little if you can see there, it doesn't exactly want to go in all the way. So what we're going to do is this the fun part because we got to kind of knock this guy over on the post here in order to make it go right into the spot we want it to. So best thing is, is if you have a well used HPC Blitz machine like we do, is I grab a rubber mallet to tap on the edge here. So that way it gives it that push to get over. So. Get our rubber mallet and we're just gonna tap it on the side here just to give it that little extra push. And now we're going into that space gauge just like we want to. So now fast forwarding to tighten down all these screws. Alrighty, now we're out of fast forward mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this guy up, make sure our spacing's still good. Even though after we tightened everything down, you could have some minor movement, so you always wanna double check your work, which we go right in, so we are good. So from that, we're gonna go and run on to step six. Okay, and uh, moving on to step six. Step six, we are uh, now dealing with uh, Calibrating the depth on the machine. So that goes hand in hand with the blade dropping into the, the hole on the key gauge here. So whenever we push up on this, we're gonna see that arrow right there coming up to the depth mark. So with our change tool wrench, we're gonna use the smaller size on the end of the top rod here. So that way we can make the adjustments to the depth. So. The more you pull back on it, the more to the left it's going to go. The more you push up on it, the more to the right it's going to go. So we're going to gauge and see how far we need to go. So we're kind of more to the left, so we need to push this guy up to make him go that way. So we're going to kind of push a little because you don't want to go too much because it is very sensitive. And you just want to kind of go back and forth doing that making the small adjustments until you get closer to the center of that depth mark there. And just a hair more and we should be right on point. And this goes hand in hand with step seven. So this is practically your last step for calibrating the machine. just a hair more. And we are on their dead center now. All right, so with that, you just wanna make sure you tighten everything back up. Make sure everything's good to go. If you have all your screws tightened down and everything, then you have done the basic calibration for the HPC Blitz. Um, thank you guys for your time today and hope uh, you learned something out of it. Uh, if anything, I mean, it's not that hard to do the basic one. Uh, anything above and beyond that, you do want to call up HPC and send it up to them to get it repaired if it's anything beyond a basic calibration. But. That's our uh, episode of Picking with the Brain. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have two other ones if you want to check those out. Uh, beyond that, have a nice day. Squeeze like that.